Caldera Pathfinder is a plugin developed by the Center for Threat Informed Defense to enable Caldera to intelligently leverage vulnerability scan data in its operations. With Pathfinder, Caldera can demonstrate how an adversary might use vulnerabilities in your environment to achieve their goals, highlighting a path through your network and showing the real impact of vulnerability. This demonstration shows how to launch a vulnerability scan of your network Visualize the scan results, develop a Caldera adversary based on the scan results, and then launch an operation with that newly created adversary. Uh, I have a few VMs set up here. Uh, generally what we have, we just have a simple network where we have a Windows machine and two Linux machines. Uh, one of them is going to be hosting our server. Another one has an exploit on it. And another one is an old Windows one with an exploit on it as well. And so as we go through our demo of Pathfinder, we're going to show you going through finding exploits, scanning for them through Pathfinder, being able to visualize that from within Pathfinder, and then being able to run an operation against these machines. So starting out, we can see here that we're at the Caldera page. We have a Caldera server loaded up and we have uh, an agent already deployed on this machine. So if I click over into here and go to agents, we can see we have an agent running on this machine, which we're gonna use for our operation later on. And so starting out with Pathfinder, we can go over here down into the plugin side. We'll click on Pathfinder. Here's our default view that you wind up starting into where you have the Pathfinder window, you start out on the scan tab, and so this is where we're going to do all of our scanning options. Uh, as you can see, we have a pull down for scanners. Uh, by default, the repo has a single scanner in it currently, but you can extend the functionality of Pathfinder through creating additional scanner modules. And I will talk about that a little bit after I go through this demo. And so for now to start, we'll be selecting Nmap. As we select Nmap, we can see that we get a variety of inputs that get pulled down. And so these are different command line parameters that you can pass into Nmap. Uh, these are the default ones that we selected to be able to fill out. Uh, you can add additional ones and change this if your use case desires different things to be passed in. This is what was uh, required for us to start out. And so for target specification, since this machine actually is connected to two different networks, it grabbed the IP address that is on our external facing network. But since we're going to be wanting to hit the other machines, we're going to put in the IP address that's on that network. And we're going to use a CIDR specification so that we run through a handful of IPs on that network. So we can start out with that machine. So 192.168.56. And we're going to do 100. And then we'll do slash 27. So that'll give us 32 machines around there. Scanner script, uh, because the exploit on our one machine that we're going to try and exploit is Heartbleed, we're going to use this uh, Nmap scripting engine uh, script for actually finding that exploit. Uh, by default, the repo will clone down Nmap vulners. You can also use Volscan or any other scripts that you have for passing into Nmap if you wanted to use those as well as long as you drop them in a script folder within the scanner portion, they will all be picked up and be able to be used. So we'll select Heartbleed NSE from there. Script arguments, we don't have any arguments that we need to pass into this script, but if you write another script and you have specific arguments you wanna pass into it, you're able to fill those out from here. Port-wise, we can just throw in a handful of standard ports on here. Obviously, there are some specific ones that we're going to need to make sure are on there. But besides that, we should be able to get away with some of the standard ones. And then 443 has to be in there. We're also going to do 3389. And we're going to do about 8888. And so that should cover a few of the different uh, services that are up and available on these machines and then we're gonna we'll hit the no ping one just so that it hits all of our different hosts and so then we can hit scan and you can see that all of our arguments that we're here get passed off to the server for starting up the scanner with these parameters and a scan will be started and once the scan finishes we're going to see that our 
scanning will be re-enabled back here and we're going to have an option for viewing the data that came back from the scan. And as the scan just finished, we'll be able to then click view facts and we can see what we have open. And so this is the sources section. And so these are fact sources that can get passed into an operation. It's how Caldera stores facts and data to be able to be used within an operation and is able to be passed between abilities. Stuff that is found from within an ability will go into a source that is the running source for an operation. You can also create sources that pass in data so that when you're running an operation, you can start out with a predefined set of information. And so from our scan, we wind up creating a source that you can use when running an operation based on this scan. And as you can see, it has some information about our machines. This is a very informational centric view of some data that we have. But in order to view this in a more human way, let's go instead to the view tab. And so jumping over into the view tab, we can then go and see that we have a vulnerability report that just got scanned here. And so we can select that and we can click on graph. And so when we click on graph here, we see that our machines become visible and that we can see a little bit of what our network looks like. And so from the scanner, we were able to pick up three different machines. We can see that one of them has port 8888 open. Uh, if you know Caldera, you know that's the Caldera default port that we run on. We also see here's another host that has 3389 open. That's the Windows RDP port. So that one's most likely our Windows VM over here. And here we have this machine that has 443 and 80 open. 443 is where our Heartbleed exploit has been found. And that's our other Linux host over here. And so from this point, we can see that, okay, we have a vulnerability. Our vulnerability is showing in a solid color, which I will get more into that a little bit later uh, when we have another host that'll have multiple vulnerabilities available on it. Uh, and so I think we want to try and exploit this. So one thing we can do is from within the right click context menu, we can go and set this as a target node. And then we can take uh, wherever our agent is and we can set that as our source node. And so now from the node that has our agent running on it, we can try and actually exploit the vulnerability on this other machine. And so to do that, we're going to have to actually build an adversary to do that. And so that's all built into Pathfinder right now. And so you can go and see that once we selected these and we had this, a uh, target and a source node, we had created adversary, got enabled. And so clicking on that, you'll see it'll draw a line between the two. And we now have a Pathfinder adversary that we can view down here. And so this will then contain all the different ability files that are tagged with that vulnerability. And so we have a Heartbleed information grabbing file that's tagged with the CVE for Heartbleed. And that will allow us to then run this against that machine. And this should be a functional ability that will run against it. And so we can close that. And as we see that our graph now shows this is the path that we're going to take. And we now have a setup operation button that can enable. And so clicking on that. We now set up by default an operation with a few default values so that you can almost point and click and create an operation and run it on the go from within Pathfinder. And so we see that we have our name populated. We have our adversary populated out. We also have the fact source populated out within the options down here. And so the only thing that we really need to do is that we want to go, OK, since we aren't deploying an agent from within Pathfinder, we should at least select the group of agents that we want to run it again. And because this is a demo, we don't really want to keep this open forever. We're just going to show the C operation running. So we'll go and auto close it instead. And so we can then go and scroll down here, click on start, and our operation is going to start running against these machines. And so it's going to go the agent is going to collect our commands and go and execute those against the host. And hopefully from the command output that we see in here, we'll be able to see that we were able to exploit our vulnerability on our machine. And we're able to actually get some information back from memory by using the Heartbleed exploit. And so as we can see, one of the commands already came back and that we can then go and look at the command output. And so from within here, you can see that 
This host, 56.114, if you remember this was the Linux host with the vulnerability, it returned more data than it should, so the server's vulnerable. And so here's the contents of the memory that it was able to dump through Heartbleed. Obviously nothing looks too useful in there, but that doesn't mean that a different vulnerability that you could be exploiting through this method wouldn't get you back something useful or could be used for privilege ex escalation or any number of other things. And so we can then close that. We can see our operation still running. It's going to hit every host because we're using a uh, simple planner on this that's going to go through and use all the machines. Uh, one of the future improvements that we could possibly do is do a fact source that disables the searching of other machines or does stuff like that. But for now, we wound up going and hitting all the machines. And so if we look at one of the other machines, we can see that the operation will time out or that it didn't get back or it got refused because well none of the other machines have 443 open and none of them are vulnerable to that either and so that was a quick demo of just going from a scan to an actual graph and then to selecting our actual targets and creating an adversary and running an operation against it all from within pathfinder and so that's where i'm going to conclude our demo of if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to anybody on the team. We have a contact point from within the repo here. So in terms of for questions and feedback, feel free to contact us through here. Obviously, those of us who worked on it are in the contributors section. Feel free to reach out to us as well or use any of the issues or questions section from within GitHub. And we'll be happy to assist you on anything that you need. Thank you.